Praise the Lord. And this Samson who was born of God, his root is God. The tree may grow stronger and stronger, bigger and bigger, every year giving fruits, fruits, it also gets tired. So what do people do? What do they do? They bring a sickle or small thing. They shake around the ground. Have you seen? Why? To lose the sand for what? The root has to go deep. To the extent it goes high, to that extent it has to go deep. Only then it can face the storm and the heavy wind that comes on the way. So Samson, whose root is the Spirit, was born of the Spirit, and he did not take care of his roots. He was only enjoying the fruits. He was showing, I am the wild one. Hit the fellows. He went to one prostitute, one lady, and that lady said, how do you have the power? She got money from the Philistines. She got from both the sides. You know. And he said, if you bring big, big rope and tie it to seven ropes, then I will be off. So she made him to sin with her, drink with her. He was born, when he was born, the Lord said to Manava, don't touch the wine. Move away from the world and give yourself to the spirit. If, if a fire is, the fire is burning and you put opposite to fire the water, what will happen to the fire? If you have grown in the spirit, if you bring that of the world, what will happen? That of the spirit will disappear from you. The fire of the Lord will go away. And now Samson, a man of the spirit, now goes with that lady, sinned with her, and she tied. He did not know. He was deep sleep. And those people came. And she woke up. Samson, get up. God is so faithful. He gives space. Even when we are fallen, he gives the time of grace. And he gave the time of grace for Samson also. Even though he was lying in the filth of sin, the Holy Spirit came upon him. And he broke those seven ropes as though he is breaking a small thread. And he took a bone of a donkey, dead donkey. With that, he killed thousands of people who are with the swords and spears. That type of power God had given. At least in that moment, he should have returned back and saw, oh my dirt, my sin has led me to this situation. God allows us to go through pain, sometimes humiliation, to tell us where we are. Many of the times, God allows us to go through painful experience, not to punish us, to tell us where we are, where we are supposed to be and where we are. To get us back to God, back to our roots. And Samson, he did not take care of his roots. He was angry on that lady Oh, you betrayed me. He left her and went to another lady. 
until you hold on to the lord the weakness you may try to go away from one weakness another weakness will capture you you will be trying because the enemy is behind you roaring like a lion he will not leave you until he finishes you off those are some non christians are here to follow jesus is very dangerous if you don't hold on to the lord the enemy will hold you so samson now he went to that lady and she was making him pleasurable she was she gave herself to him and in the filth of the sin drunk his life but he revealed the truth my hair is dedicated to god if i remove my hair i publicly confess that i don't want god any more in my life that covenant that my parents made with god will be broken if my hair is gone it is sad that many people run to the churches to remove their hair and knowing the scripture and now samson's hair is removed the covenant is gone the bible says the spirit of the lord left him and we read in judges chapter 16 verse 20 he thought like earlier times i will shake up myself and go hello my dear if you don't shake the roots in the time you are supposed to be shaken your tree itself will be shaken if you don't take care of your roots that is the end that is the end they plucked out his eyes they tied his tied him with the chains and he died a miserable death they told him get up make fun for us be a clown what a great mighty samson did not take care of the spirit of god in him he did not realize his root is in the lord <laughs> 